I actually dropped a friend off because he'd been called in for an audition. So I drove him, dropped him, and then I waited for him in the waiting room with the girls at the casting agency. But I'd had a very bad weekend. I got into a brawl, and I didn't come out looking too pretty. I sort of took on half a rugby team, and it was just... It didn't work out too well on my end, so... I was looking pretty bad. They took Polaroids, because I was like, really, every color of the rainbow, and they put them up. And they said, man, we need freaks in this film. They said, when, when you heal up, come back and see us. I was a young actor, and nobody had a job, and I thought, what the hell? Um, so that was an attraction enough. It could have been a commercial for toilet cleaner. I would have gone for it, you know, to earn a buck. So I went back, and they said, and you are? You know, about two weeks later, I said, that's me up there on the, on the wall, because they have these pictures of me. And they went, oh, my God. And, they, you know, they sent me in, and I uh, talked to George Miller. And he just kind of gave me the part right there. It was real weird. He said, can you memorize this? And it was like two pages of dialogue with a big speech and stuff. And I was like, yeah, sure. So I went to the other room, and I just kind of got a gist of what it was. And I came out and just kind of ad-libbed what I could remember. And I guess they bought it. Just can't get it clear up my head, Jess. You're so full of living, you know? You ran the franchise on it. Now there's nothing. Here I am, trying to put sense to it. 